powers act and he which is said in 1973 they they, they said the Morse power act means that the president can act unilaterally but he has to come back within 90 days to come up with the rationale to continue the same policy bush has never gone back to congress for approval and obama hasn't gone back he continues the same illegal wiretapping that has taken place. And then when you look at his health care, okay, the mandate part of it and the, and the cost of it, we're bankrupt. If, you, if you're going to have a, a, a newborn, it's going to cost you $50,000. The national debt is $14 trillion. So there is absolutely no difference between Obama and Bush and Cheney and Biden and Nancy Pelosi. Both parties, in essence, are bankrupt. But I hope that through you and people like Jeff from San Carlos, and if you send me to Congress, I hope that I don't become corrupt like the rest of them. I'm trying to make you laugh. What's your name? My name is Mike Baloney. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm from Forster City. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, but I've been out here since the last uh, summer in 66. Yes, I'm, I'm a Brooklyn guy. My name is Mark Hi, nice to meet you. He's I'm running against you. Get this on, man. Oh, oh, is he running against yeah, me? He's running against you. Okay, are you a Let's writing a candidate? Let's have a debate here. No, I'm the Libertarian Federal. Oh, you're the Libertarian yeah, guy. The libertarian. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Give him some microphone time, just, too, man. Yeah, oh, this man. This is a debate right here. I just, I just is, wanted to uh, Here, I got you right you. here, Mark. Yeah. I got you right here. There he is. And I, well, I ran, when I ran as a Libertarian, I got 7.5% of the vote. I was the top vote candidate for any uh, third-party candidate at the time. Now, do you think that you can beat that 7.5%? I'll try. Wow. Put him on the mic. Take him some mic. But knowing your values, uh, I know we're, we're being in good hands if uh, either, either of us uh, Absolutely. beat Chucky Spear. Absolutely. We're on the same page, man. The Libertarian Party, in fact, everyone should vote for him. If you want a party of principle, so, the Republicans and the Democrats, in essence, are bankrupt, but the Libertarian Party is the party of principles. Right. In fact, I may the vote for you. <laughs> Hang on, he's got my hand. We're doing it this for the 12th district. We're doing it for the 12th district, not for ourselves, but for the 12th district. No matter who wins, right. we have to make this um, district a better, powerful district and bring back the money sent to Washington back to our district so it can be decided what and how it should be spent by the people of the 12th district. I agree. He agrees. Uh, we, we, for every dollar that we send back to Uncle Sam, we have to kiss his ass to get 79 cents back. So I agree. Absolutely. So obviously I look forward to the times that maybe, uh, maybe Congresswoman Jackie Speer will debate us two or three times and we'll have some fun. You got to say that again. I'm talking to Mark Williams, the Libertarian candidate for the 12th Congressional District, and I just suggested that maybe Congresswoman Jackie Speer would debate us on two or three occasions so we could educate the people in the 12th Congressional values what's going on. That's your message. That's it. That's the message. That's it. We got the message. All right, guys, I'm going to put this up on YouTube. Tell them your name. Mark Williams. Mike Williams? Williams. Mike Maloney. All right, all right, guys. That was Mike Maloney. That was nice. Either or is better than what we got, right? God bless America.